Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We got some uh, big news today. Brazil is a building a CBDC and they've selected a list of nine partners. The only purely crypto company on there is AAVE. So the AAVE could play a large, large part in actually um, developing Brazil's CBDC. So they chose a list of like nine partners to see what they can actually contribute. Um, Brazil is a bigger economy than most of these CBDCs that have been made, except for China. And China's not using any real, like, actual crypto project in their CBDC. It's their own blockchain. It's their own standalone thing. They don't really even allow crypto in China. In fact, all crypto transactions have actually been deemed illegal in China. So China's not going to use any of our known crypto chains or crypto coins for their CBDC. Um, Ukraine has been piloting, has was piloting Stellar. Butan's piloting Ripple. Um... San Marino was using VeChain, and there's a couple of others like that have piloted different uh, blockchains, some with Ethereum and some with other chains. But Brazil, I think, like besides China, is probably the biggest economy. It is the second biggest economy in the Americas after, of course, the United States. Brazil is significantly bigger than Mexico. So let's actually take a look at the nine partners. We have AVE. Um, which is DeFi, which means like, you know, Brazil's central bank could possibly be looking at the DeFi angle. We know that banks eventually are going to join DeFi. I didn't think any central bank would actually look uh, into DeFi, but AVE's speciality in DeFi might actually provide a lot of sense. Banco Santander, one of the biggest banks in Latin America. I don't really know what Febronbron is. And then we have GSIC and Devrent, um, some Italian bank. Mercado Bitcoin, so that's a Bitcoin trust. Obviously, they have some speciality in like Bitcoin, which uh, Latin American countries are more and more interested in. Techbond, e Capital, Vert, Digital Assets, e Oliver Wyman, Visa de Brasil, Consensus, and Microsoft. Consensus obviously is Ethereum. Not really sure what Microsoft is doing here, but obviously they have speciality in software, and they've also had they also run several crypto nodes. But actually, like, I'm most excited for AAVE because it is the only purely crypto uh, project that's actually on here. They're very, very, very big in, obviously, the DeFi sector for AAVE. And they have a lot of TVL. So, you know, this actually might signal to us that perhaps um, even central banks are actually looking at the, um, at the DeFi line and maybe... Uh, urging their country to get into DeFi. I know the United States, the SEC might come down pretty hard on it. Uh, but the thing is, realistically, um, I think the rest of the world will uh, adopt a lot faster. AVE has a total value locked of $19.02 billion. Um, Avalanche has $3.121 billion. Ethereum has $7.52 billion. So like, they're one of the huge players in the DeFi market. This bodes very, very well for crypto that like... Uh, a bigger economy like Brazil would actually ask expertise from not only a crypto company, but a DeFi company. That is a pretty, pretty big step. Might be a good time to get in some AAVE right now. I can see this, like, I can see hype from this. I can definitely see uh, hype from this news. Uh, essentially, like, I can definitely see hype from this news. Um boosting this coin up in the future especially if we go into a bull run it is like speculation like this that does actually pump coins AV is only number 56 on coin market cap only 1.7 billion in market cap the fully diluted market cap is only 2 billion so almost all the coins are actually released and obviously that bodes well because you can't have tons of coins being dumped on you from nowhere. So this might actually be a very, very good investment right now. It is a very popular DeFi protocol. And actually, like all the other popular DeFi protocols, it has been hit really hard during this downturn. But the full, but like the excitement from maybe getting in on the Brazil CBDC, the second biggest economy in the uh, in the North in the Americas, and also like just the regrowth of DeFi after things start sprouting up may actually make this one of the best investments in the top 100. Now, we already know that DeFi is probably going to massively grow once the market actually comes back. And like, because TVL locked will go way up. So all this DeFi stuff will go way up as money flows into DeFi. I don't think DeFi is going away. I do think people are looking at it as a new way of investing. And I do think like this is the first hint that some central banks are even looking at it as kind of a new model, maybe for uh, to follow in the future. So that's what I have for AAVE. 
Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day, people.